The Vela Freestyle Sequential Gas Injection is dedicated for LPG and CNG 2, 3 and 4 cylinder indirect injection engines up to 250 horsepower. It can be used for both naturally aspirated and turbocharged engines. The Vela ECU must be installed in a vertical position with the pins down, away from high voltage cables. The Vela system has its own gas pressure and MAP sensors. The gas pressure sensor must be mounted above the points where the gas flows. The tube houses connectors have to be located on the bottom side of sensors. To change the fuel type, use the petrol gas switch located in the driver's cab. The switch features LEDs indicating the gas level in the tank. In gasoline engines, the fuel is delivered to the individual cylinders via gasoline injectors. In the Vela sequential gas injection system, the amount of gas injected to the engine is determined on the basis of the opening time of the gasoline injectors on each cylinder. For this purpose, it is necessary to use the control signal of each of the gasoline injectors obtained from the car computer and send it to the Vela ECU to calculate the amount of gas to be injected and to establish the opening time of the gas injectors. To obtain the control signal in the Vela system, the relevant harness type has to be selected. It depends on the type of petrol injector connectors. The most common type of connector is a Bosch, or Japan connector. It is also important which wire from the connector is used to control the gasoline injector. The control signal can be found using diagnostic tools. By default, the control signal is fed through the right pin of the connector injector. In such a case, it is necessary to choose a harness type with Bosch standard or Japan standard connectors. If the control signal is fed through the left pin, it is necessary to choose a harness type with Bosch inverted or Japan inverted connectors. When getting the petrol injection signal and disconnecting the petrol injectors, the Vela electric harness should be connected in the proper order to provide the correct gas supply to the appropriate cylinders. To avoid confusion, the connectors for gas injectors are marked with letters indicating the cylinders and corresponding thereby to the marks on the connectors disconnecting petrol injectors. The control cables of gas injectors are of the same color as the cables disconnecting the petrol injectors for the same cylinders. The Vela system reads the necessary signals from sensors mounted on components of the gas system. The harness with hermetic connectors provides a reliable and fast connection of sensors without the need for soldered connections. Control of solenoid valves is performed by factory assembled connectors on the ends of the power cables and ground cables. While mounting the Vela system injectors and before beginning the calibration process, the injector nozzle diameter should be properly selected. The diameter is determined depending on the engine power on one cylinder, according to the gas injector manual. Connecting the Vela harness in the car is very easy and extremely fast. The core of the system is the controller. In order to determine the demand for gas, one should obtain signals from each petrol injector paying attention to the order of disconnection. The gas is fed to the engine by the gas injectors, separately to each cylinder. When connecting, pay attention to keep the correct order of connections.
The system is equipped with its own sensors. Temperatures of gas on the gas injectors. Gas reducer temperature. Gas pressure and manifold absolute pressure in the intake manifold. The power supply and ground of the coil are used to control the gas supply to the reducer. The petrol gas switch is connected to the main harness with the appropriate hermetic connector. The system mounted and connected in this way is now ready for configuration. The great advantage of the Vela controller is the automatic intake of the power supply and engine RPM directly from the petrol injectors. The Vela controller does not require a connection to the battery, so it does not consume power when the engine is off. The Vela controller can be connected to the engine sensors and signals by means of a universal harness, without any connectors. After installing the Vela system, for the configuration of the software, it is necessary to use an interface unit which needs to be connected to the appropriate socket instead of the switch harness. The other interface connector is connected to the USB socket of the PC. In order to enter data into the configuration page, it is necessary to launch the Connect procedure to obtain data exchange between the PC and the Vela controller. If necessary, select the appropriate language. After entering the configuration page, you get access to the following pages in the left column. At the switching subpage, select the gas type LPG or CNG respectively. Choose the proper gas injectors from the list. The gasoline injection type is defined by auto detection or manually from the list. For the proper RPM indication, a suitable diver should be selected manually or simply through auto detect. The petrol gas field requires data for switching from petrol to gas. The number of cylinders for Vela Freestyle does not change. For two or three cylinders, the appropriate harness needs to be connected according to the instructions. The petrol gas field defines the value of the selected parameters beyond which Vela controller switches back from gas to petrol. On the bottom left side, the icon indicates the type of fuel used by the engine and the right sidebar displays the basic engine and gas system parameters. On the next Sensors subpage, select Gas Level Sensor Type. What is new is the software solution, which allows the amount of gas in the tank to be determined based on the total gas injector's work time. This solution does not require the use of gas level sensor for the system. The car driver should fill up the gas tank and use the gas petrol switch according to the instructions. Next, select the MAP sensor and Lambda sensor if connected. After entering the basic settings on the switching and sensor subpages, go to the auto calibration page. The auto calibration of the Vela controller can be done in four different ways. During fast calibration, the connection of the entire chart and its single points is performed. Progressive calibration is a longer process compared to fast calibration. In only offset calibration, the entire chart is moved down or up. High RPM calibration, in contrast to earlier methods of calibration, is performed at elevated idle RPM. Be sure to perform auto calibration when the engine is warmed up to operating temperature and the temperature of the reducer is at least 50 degrees Celsius. We recommend ticking the factory diagram and animate functions before starting the auto calibration. The first one will automatically get back to the factory presettings of the map before calibration and the second allows the changes made during the calibration process to be visualized.
the auto calibration is initiated by the start button. During the process, follow the instructions available on the screen. Once the calibration is completed successfully, a message will be displayed on the screen. If the calibrated nozzle diameter is too small or too large, the VELA system will notify on the screen about the necessity to change the diameter. After the auto calibration process is completed, road tests are recommended. MAP on the configuration page allows the VELA controller to register parameters of the engine operating both on petrol and gas and to correct the characteristics displayed in the graph based on the obtained data. Operating parameters conducted while driving will be recorded if the Save Map function was selected. After several minutes of driving on petrol and gas, the system registers the necessary number of map points. They will be displayed on the chart as separate lines, yellow for petrol and green for gas. The To Count button allows proposal to be prepared on how to correct the characteristics of the engine operating on gas, which will be displayed as an additional pink line. Once accepted, the new characteristics will replace the previous ones and will be saved in the VELA controller. If necessary, the composition of the air-fuel mixture can be adjusted manually on the chart or the map. In the first option, the correction is done by raising or lowering the corresponding point or the entire chart with the cursor using the keyboard or mouse. Raising the chart point extends the time of gas injection and enriches the mixture, while lowering reduces the time of injection and dilutes the air-fuel mixture. On the map, the correction of the gas injection time can be done at any selected range by increasing or decreasing the values displayed in given cells. Increasing the value with the arrow up on the keyboard extends the injection time and enriches the mixture, while decreasing the value reduces the injection time and dilutes the mixture. The VELA Freestyle Controller has several additional functions that make operating and maintaining the gas system easier. Select on the Gas Petrol page. We should mention the possibility of temporary switching gas, petrol, gas, above or below the set engine RPM. Enrichment of a mixture of petrol, meaning an additional petrol injection during operating on gas, if the RPM exceeds the entered value and if the petrol injection time exceeds the entered value. Additional function for a Mazda with the possibility of entering a factor value. The blow of gas in the cutoff mode function with the possibility of setting a differential pressure range. The correction subpage enables the influence coefficients to be changed depending on the gas differential pressure and gas temperature, as well as the supply voltage for the VELA system. Turn off temperature and pressure sensors can be selected on the sensors subpage in the case of a sensor malfunction. Diagnostics provides full diagnostics of the engine operating on gas. Errors stored in the memory can be verified and deleted if needed using the clear button. Diagnostics of the proper disconnection of the petrol injector shall be performed after the VELA system is mounted in the Petrol Injection MS windows. Using the buttons with numbers referring to particular cylinders, it's possible to disconnect selected gas injectors and switch the cylinder to petrol for diagnostic purposes. It can be done as well with the use of the buttons available at the bottom of the screen on all pages in the VELA software. Emergency engine start on gas can be activated and set by entering the proper number in the allowed field. Adjustment modifies the capacity correction values for individual sections of gas injectors, indicated with consecutive numbers. Oscilloscope is helpful in diagnostics as it allows selected signals to be observed on the screen and record allows them to be recorded on the computer in a new file. 
The recording is conducted between start and stop. The password subpage allows one's own protection against changes by unauthorized people to be entered in the VELA controller and remarks and contact data for the service. The VELA sequential gas injection is a modern and reliable system designed for being adapted in a wide range of engines fueled with gas. Thank you.